Hey, and welcome to Made to Win Online with Leslie Jean-Baptiste, your favorite affiliate marketer. Today, we're going to learn 16 ways to make easy money to get you started to put in some extra change in your pocket. All right. But before we do that, why don't you go ahead and go ahead and click that button down there and subscribe to this video. Go ahead and um, click the, um, the bell there in order to get notifications because I'm going to be sharing with you some valuable information that's going to help you grow your business. But before I can help you grow your business, I got to show you how to keep some money in your pocket and how to keep some change in your pocket. So with all that ado, let's go ahead and get started. Number one, get paid to do surveys. There's quite a few companies, uh, legitimate companies online that will pay you to do surveys. We're going to go over a, a few of the, what those companies are. Um, go ahead and get a pen and paper so we can get those down for you. Um, let's see. Surveys. So now the companies that are offering surveys, um, paid surveys, a uh, company called Survey Junkie. Uh, swag bucks uh, Vindel research V I N D A L E research inbox dollars um, one opinion survey club earning station VIP voice my points global test market now Global test market pay up to $5 per survey. Some of them also pay up to $5 per survey, but global test market is a good one. Harris Poll Online is another one. And that would be it for the places that you can fill out surveys and get paid for them. On average, you're getting about $5 maximum per survey. Um, can add up if you're doing those surveys quite a bit. The next thing is, um, invest with Acorns. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with Acorns. It is an app that you can download on your phone. It's $5 just to sign up. And um, basically, it lets you um, set recurring and one-time investments um, and earn cash back on everyday shopping that you do. So that's a really good way to, to get some savings down. The other thing is uh, number three. Let dosh save you some money now dosh is another app basically um you you basically go to places that you normally go um and um you're using the dash app in order to do it and every time you refer a friend you get eight dollars um you get eight dollars for referring a friend to an app so that can also add up there are also no coupons no promo codes and no receipt scanning so that makes it pretty much you know pretty easy too. Um, cashing out is easy it transfers right to your bank account um, into your PayPal or you can donate it to your favorite charity which is really awesome number four okay let trim negotiate your bills so trim is a online um, website rather than combining your bills um, for ways to save a couple dollars here and there Trim can do it for you. They connect you. They connect to your account using uh, bank level security. They analyze your spending and your subscriptions to things, and they find ways to save you money. And it is completely free. So that is a really good source for many of you. Number five: switch to money market account. Now. I hate money market accounts. Actually, I don't hate them, but you don't really give you much of a return with inflation. But at least it's better than keeping your money in a regular account. I, for one, prefer credit unions. If I am going to use a bank account um, in that aspect, uh, credit unions provide a better return. So you want to maybe look into a credit union. Number six. Automate your savings. Um, there is a company uh, called Rise, R-I-Z-E, that will automate your savings for you. 
um, and you don't even have to think about it. So it transfers funds out of your check-in into a savings emergency or emergency fund. Um, and that's pretty cool because you don't have to worry about it. If your check-in dips too low, Rise will notify you and put your savings on hold and to keep you from overdrafting, which is pretty cool. Um, keep your credit in check, okay? This is one that I think a lot of people, um, you know, they kind of don't realize, you know, being able to have money is being able to also keep the money that you have. And so when you have bad credit, you're losing a lot of money. So um, I have a friend of mine, if you're interested, um, her name is Tamara Foreman. She is uh, the, the credit boss. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a, um, get, a, get, a, get a link for her and put it below this video uh, shortly after posting this video. That way, if you guys are looking for credit repair, um, she would be more than happy to assist you. Um, credit is essential. It is important that you have good credit. And when you do not, you are actually spending more money for everything. So you definitely want to make sure your credit is up to par. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number eight, drive Lyft or Uber. Okay, now this is something that, um, you know, I've done. I've driven for Uber. I've never driven for Lyft, but I've driven for Uber. And it was good money when I, when I while I did it. The only issue is, obviously, you got to have a recent model car, a fairly decent condition, um, and you obviously have to have, you know, a driver's license and legal papers in order to do that. However, it is a very beneficial way to earn extra cash, especially if you're looking to um, start a business and you need extra money to do so. Number nine, rent your car out. There are apps out there that will allow you to rent your car out. One app in particular is Turo, T-U-R-O. Um, I've never done it, but I thought about it. And it's something that um, you're covered by a million dollar liability insurance, so you don't have to worry about it, all right? So that's an option for you. Number 10, cashback apps. Okay, there are a lot of them. I'm not going to go over a list of them. You can just look into it. Um, one of them, we'll just say is is Ebates. Okay, um, you can look into it. Um, swag bucks. All right. Um, the number eleven, start a blog. Okay, I have a blog. Um, I currently gen generate income from. I've, well, I've generated income from many other blogs, and I'm currently starting a new blog from scratch to show my students that it can happen without any leads, without any anything. Starting from zero, you can do it, and I'm showing my students that I that you can do it, do it, uh, without relying or depending on any of the things that I had before in being successful. Um, so I'm starting over just to show them that. Um, so you can make quite a bit of money off of starting a blog. Um, you can make on upwards of ten to twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars a month from a blog, if done properly. Number twelve: become a frequent, pro uh, a, a freelance proofreader or writer. I've also done this. Um, you can, if you are a good writer, you can um, go on a company called Upwork. Uh, it will put you through a series of tests um, to show your proficiency, your proficiency in writing or whatever skill that you say you have. And then once you pass those qualifications, you'll be able to work uh, underneath their platform, looking for work from people all over the world, which would uh, give you the ability to exponentially grow your ability to make money. I've been a freelance writer. I've hired, I've actually created my own agency. I used to hire people from India, from um, um, America as well. But uh, generally, in order to offset my cost, because I wasn't doing the work, I would have to get people in the Philippines, other English-speaking countries, where the dollar is worth much more. So that's an option for you guys. Number 13, starter, 
start a Facebook ad side hustle. Okay, so I heard about this one. People have been telling me about that. So a Facebook, so it's a Facebook ad side hustle. So what this is, is basically you are um, positioning yourself as an authority in, in, in helping people uh, draw either traffic to their website, uh, calls to their to a phone number, to their business, or um, um, helping them grow their brand. And you're doing that using Facebook, Facebook advertisements. Uh, this is very lucrative. Um, depending on the company, um, you can make on upwards of a thousand to uh, thirteen, fifteen hundred dollars a month to start in managing Facebook ads if you're really good at it. Um, and you can go as high as three thousand dollars, depending on the the business uh, and the value of the customer to the to the company. So, for example, a doctor's office, you know, would would not have a problem paying you three thousand dollars a month to manage their Facebook ad account if they were getting two to three customers from you a month. Um, so that's something to take into consideration. Number fourteen, sell custom T-shirts. Now, this is a really cool one. Um, I haven't done it, and but I've been thinking about it because um, there's this company called Teespring, and basically, they'll let you custom customize your T-shirt, the T-shirts, right? And then you can market those T-shirts. And if people like your designs, you make an income off the T-shirts. How awesome. Something I got to take a look into a little bit more. I haven't really dug deep, but I'll take a look into that in the future. Number 15, manage social media for businesses. Now, some of you guys are super popular. I'm not going to lie. You have like thousands of friends, thousands of subscribers, thousands of this, and you don't even have a business. Well, you could use this to your advantage. To be honest with you, you could actually, um, because you know how to get likes, because you know how to make friends, because you know how to, you know, how, you know how to draw people in via social media, you could actually position yourself as a social media manager and actually manage people's social media accounts, engaging their customers, and you get paid for it. Wouldn't that be cool? Number 16, affiliate marketing. <laughs> this is Leslie, your favorite affiliate marketer. How could I include a list without including affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing is uh, definitely very lucrative. You have the ability to uh, market different products um, across a wide array of uh, niches over your career, focusing on one niche at a time and perfecting the skills necessary in order to grow your client base. There is nothing more, um, more, pas more passionate, there's nothing more that I'm passionate about than to help people understand and do what I do. So again, if you like this video for sharing these 16 ways of how you can make easy money, go ahead and like it. And if you're interested in getting more information on a regular basis as to how you can start a business without a, even a website, without very little money, and how you can really get to the place where you want to be as far as freedom and being able to move forward, go on vacation when you want, and wake up when you want. I mean, it's 12 o'clock in the morning, and that's the time I decided to work today. The point is, there's a freedom in being able to work from home. So this is what we are able to, what I'm able to bring to the table, and I'm happy that you guys been able to spend this time with me. So 16 ways to make you easy money. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when good information is coming your way. Have a blessed day.